Good morning, Jack to Nerdy fans. Welcome to my non-spoiler review for Bad Boys Ride or Die. Before I jump into that review video though, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you guys never miss out on a video. And if you do enjoy our content, please smash that thumbs up button. It supports the channel immensely and it doesn't cost you a thing. So let's jump straight into it. Bad Boys 4 or Bad Boys Ride and Die, whatever you want to call it. I got to admit, I did not have big expectations for this film. I thought the trailers looked really good. Um, but I was very apprehensive. Um, you know, I, I thought, well, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are getting a bit long in the tooth these days. Um, you know, all the issues that Will Smith has been having over the last couple of years. And this film, in my opinion, like from, from when I heard that they was, you know, first uh, looking at making this film to when they went into production to when it was released it all felt very very fast and you know I was worried that it was just going to be slapped together and in a rush and, and not a lot of um, time and thought and, and detail was going to be on this film so I thought it was going to be very rushed and very slapped together um, plus also, I mean, come on, most franchises, once you get to the third movie, it kind of starts to kind of, uh, and then, you know, if they make a fourth one, you're kind of like, you know, it, it, most franchises deteriorate with age, um, and don't get better. There are the odd, you know, there are the odd ones that stand out that, that went the other way. John Wick, you know, Lord of the Rings, things like that. Um, but you know, usually by the time they get to like the third movie, that the the, um, the quality tends to diminish. All of that being said, so as I said, I went into this film very, very apprehensive, not expecting fantastic things, and I was very, very pleasantly surprised. This film was actually very entertaining. Um, I thought they the you know, uh, they did a, a fantastic job top to bottom. I mean, obviously, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence and their, their um, you know, the way that they work together and, and their chemistry and everything is fantastic. Almost like they never made, you know, basically never missed a step. Um, the story was, was interesting. I, I didn't find uh, any kind of major plot holes or issues with the story. Um, you know, I found it to be quite, you know, quite engaging and entertaining. Um the action sequences are really, really good. You know, um, it, it's, I have to say, you know, from start to finish, they sprinkle the action, you know, very evenly throughout the film. So at no point are you kind of, um, you know, peaks and crashes or, you know, big lulls where you're kind of getting bored with the story because not much is happening. Like they pepper the action in quite you know, quite evenly throughout the movie to keep you engaged, which was really good. I found myself laughing so much throughout this film, like the the the, co the comedy that they've put in this film and the way that they've delivered it. Again, peppering it evenly throughout the film, so it's not just kind of oh joke, 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 joke. You know, it's like no, no, no. They you know, they'll, they'll they'll do something amusing and then kind of let that sit for a little while, then they'll do something else. So, you know, um, the scripting and the writing and the, you know, the way they delivered it was really, really, really good. Um, I, I, you know, as I said, I found myself laughing again and again and again. The other thing I think they did really, really well is they, they tied this film in with the, all the three previous films very well. They would have actors that appeared in the first film that you haven't seen since the first film come back in. You know, they would reference characters that you haven't seen in the last, you know, one or two films. They would reference events that happened in the previous films. So they did a really good job of just kind of tying it all in together and, and reminding you of the history of these characters and the history of these films and everything. So, um, all in all, I, I really, really enjoyed this film. I've, I had a fantastic time. I'm a sucker for these films. Like, I mean, I remember conning my dad into letting me hire the original Bad Boys movie on VHS at the local Blockbuster when I was probably about 
13 years old, maybe, and, you know, given that it was R18 film, you know, um, or it was rated R18 back in the day, you know, probably not the kind of film I should have been watching at 13, but I, I, you know, I conned my dad into letting me borrow it and watch it, and I've loved the franchise ever since. Um, you know, so I've grown up with these these characters, you know, Mike Lowry, you know, um, so I, I had an absolute blast. If you if you grew up with these characters like I did, if you've been along for the ride, I, I definitely think you will engage and enjoy this film. Um, you know, it was good. You know, they brought back, you know, characters from the last film. Like, I thought... Um, I did think the last film was uh, what was it? Bad Boys for Life. I thought it was the weakest out of the first three films. Um, absolutely, definitely the weakest out of the first three films. However, you know, very very interesting in parts. I think they did do a great job. I liked that they brought back characters from that film, um, you know, in into this film. But then also obviously they brought back, you know, in a kind of more. Um, I don't know, I suppose supportive kind of bit. They brought back the captain, who I loved, you know, just in, in kind of, you know, uh, flashes and bits and pieces. Um, so that was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. Um, you know, uh, the actor that plays... Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm not giving away spoilers of this film, but obviously, uh, if you've seen Bad Boys for Life... Uh, the the actor Jacob Scipio uh, Scipio uh, uh, who plays um, Will Smith's son, um, you know, having him come back, he he's fantastic. I, I really like seeing him. Uh, the I suppose the what you would call the big bad um, uh, Eric Dane, um, you know, he did a fantastic job. He was very menacing. Yet also, I, I mean, hell, I, I'm not gonna, I, I have no problem saying it. Like, huge man crush. He is just such a good looking man. Um, so, you know, it's kind of hard, like, you know, because he's the big bad, you want to hate him, but he's just so goddamn good looking that you're just kind of like, eh, you know, whatever. You know? <laughs> so, look, I, mean, I thought he was fantastic. I loved seeing him on screen. He was very menacing um, and believable in being the big bad. Um, so yeah, I, top to bottom, I like that's the thing. I have nothing really that I can complain about with this film. I, I've um, I found it interesting they did try to try some new things when um, when filming the action sequences. Um, you know, at one point they kind of switched up the cinematography and all, that and and kind of did it in a like a first person shooter game. Um, almost like they're trying to appeal to younger audiences in that sense. It was okay, uh, uh, you know. It's only a brief part of 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 the, um, you know the movie, and I think you know it worked okay. Personally, I would have just shot it normally. Um, you know, I wouldn't have done that. But hey, you know, when you're making these sorts of fil films, you know, you've got to kind of take. Uh, take chances and kind of try out new things and I get that and they they tried they swung um, I wouldn't say they missed but missed but they did fall short of the fence so so they didn't quite hit the mark with it but that being said they did do a, a pretty good job so so look all in all like I said if you're a fan of the bad boys franchise um, you will enjoy this film it is a it is a fun wild ride I really can't wait to see it again. Um, Mrs. Jack De Nerdy is a big fan of this franchise as well, so I may take her to go and see it in the cinemas again uh, if we have the time uh, over the next week or so. Um, we might try and go and see it at the cinemas again because it is a film worth seeing on the big screen. Worst case scenario, if we don't, though, once it comes out on streaming, we'll chuck it on in, in the home theatre and, and you know make a night of, of it. Um... But I will definitely be watching this film again as soon as possible. I had a blast. At the moment, it's got a 6.7 rating out of 10 on IMDb. It's got a 70% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. 
Um, you know, I, 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 look, I mean, I'm happy with those ratings. I'd probably rate it about 75, 75% to 80%, uh, you know, 7 or 8 out of 10 all day, every day, no problem with that. Again, as I said, I was apprehensive with a number of, you know, things, you know, I thought they might have rushed it, uh, you know, kind of not, not given it the time and attention that it deserved. Um, obviously, with everything that happened with Will Smith and everything, um, you know, it may have been an attempt for him to kind of climb back in people's good graces. You know, I, to be honest, I really don't care. I can separate the art from the artist. I think he did a fantastic job in this um, you know, great character development as well, you know, uh, from the previous films. So, 100%, I give this my full endorsement. If you love Bad Boys, go and check it out in the cinemas. Um, you know, you won't be disappointed. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys thought of Bad Boys Ride or Die. Did you guys enjoy it as much as I did? I want to know your thoughts. Hit me up in the comment section below. I do read them. Uh, and again, hit that subscribe button, guys. We got heaps more content coming out. We got heaps of awesome horror movies coming out. We got The Watchers coming out this week. I will be doing a review of that. Uh, what else have we got? We've got um, oh the e the Exorcism uh, with Tom Cruise, uh, not Tom Cruise, Russell Crowe coming out next week. We've got a Quiet Place, um, heaps more content coming your way. So smash that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on a video. Until next time, guys, stay jacked and stay nerdy.